splayed and quilled. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Last week uh, we took our time and uh, colored a simple line art illustration. This was part of a series of uh, painting exercises. Today I would like to take a little break from painting and uh, show you that Krita is uh, much more than just a drawing and a painting app. It can also be used to uh, manipulate your photographs. I am going to show you a technique that will transform this photograph into a pencil sketch. Now please understand that what I am about to show you is nothing new. <laughs> this method has been around for a very long time and is widely used by Photoshop users. However, not everyone can afford Photoshop, so I thought I would show you how you can do it for free using Krita. First things first, uh, let's uh, lock our background, <laughs> this way we don't do anything on it by accident. Click on the freehand brush if not already done. Turn off the pen pressure button if you have installed it. Go to the layer tab, go down the list and choose uh, import export. Now select uh, import layer. Find uh, the file in your computer that you want to import. The picture appears above your background. Hit uh, Ctrl plus J on your keyboard to duplicate the layer. Make the layer black and white. Uh, to do so, go to the Filter tab. Choose Adjust and then select Desaturate. A new window appears. Select Average and click OK. Hit Ctrl J on your keyboard again to duplicate the desaturated layer. Hit Ctrl plus I to invert your image. Change the blending mode of your layer from normal to uh, color dodge. Now the canvas uh, will look completely white. <laughs> Don't panic, this is completely normal. <laughs> so let's continue. Go to the tab Filter. Go down to Blur and choose a Gaussian Blur. Use the sliders and uh, slowly play around uh, different values until you are satisfied with the results. When you are done, uh, click OK. For the final step, uh, we are going to adjust the levels. Uh, the shortcut is uh, Ctrl L, but if you want, you can go to the Filter tab, choose Adjust, and select Levels. Using the sliders, take your time and adjust your shadows, mid-tones and highlights. When you are done, click OK. Holding the shift key on your keyboard, select all the layers. Hit Ctrl plus G to group them. We are not going to lock it yet. First hit Ctrl J to copy the group. Now go back to the original group, double click on it and rename it Archives. Now you can lock the group and turn it off. Let's go to the copied group. Hit Ctrl E on your keyboard to merge all its content into one layer. Now double click on the newly merged layer and rename it Dog. We are on the newly merged layer. Go to the Filter tab 
select colors, then select color to alpha. Now don't worry about what you see in this window, uh, just click OK. If we turn off uh, the canvas background, you can see that the photograph's white background is gone. Create a new layer, grab your pencil brush. If you do not know where it is, go to the Choose Brush preset icon. Make sure that the tag All is selected. In the search bar, type Pencil. A list of all your pencil available will appear. So now it's your turn to paint. Uh, just take your time and add the details you think are needed. Using the eraser, go back to the merged picture and clean up areas that you think don't look very good. And we are done! We have successfully transformed a photograph to a pencil sketch. I hope this little demonstration was helpful. <laughs> Please try it and let me know if you liked it or not in the comment area. I will see you next Monday. Until then, have a wonderful week. Au revoir tout le monde. A bientôt.